Now listen, listen, listen. I'm going to ask God to do something that's very supernatural right now. I'm going to ask Him to let you feel His power on your hand. Because often, in fact, like right now, I began feeling it when I was ministering earlier. It's, it's, it's like electricity comes on my right hand. It's, it's, it's happened the last, oh my Lord, years and years and years. Literally, I feel right now like my palm is electrocuted. It happens every time. Every time I minister. You, and that's the sign of the anointing. E e e even though I feel God's presence on me, it's like, it's like just my palm at times my fingers, but most times my, my palm just becomes electric. It's almost like something is plugged it in some fuse. And it, and, and it doesn't lift for the whole service at times. It's, there are times when both my hands are times when, I, when my feet get like I'm plugged into some fuse. I'm going to ask God to let you feel it on your hands. You ready? Father. Lord. Now, uh, uh, the Lord just said no. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place quickly. Feel all the hungry. Yeah. Now, Lord, let these young people experience the anointing in such a tangible way they'll feel it on their hands not one hand, both hands feel all the hungry feel all the hungry touch, 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 touch there it is there it is how many of you feel something on your hands? wave at me Feels like like a little numbness, like a little numbness. Yeah. Revive us again. Get this guy. Get this guy here quick. Holy Spirit. Fire on him, my brother. Come here, brother. Holy Spirit. You're welcome in this place Omnipotent Father Of mercy And grace Now Lift your hands Lift your voices And pray for your family Pray that God will anoint your family, save your family, touch your family, ask him now. Now Kurt, pick up this man here, this kid here, come on Kevin, help him. I have a word of prophecy for you. Is that your name? What's, what's your name? Marvin, that's right, Marvin. Pick up the brother here. Marvin, the Lord's going to use you in a real ministry one day. How old are you now? 20, 21. When, when you're 24, get ready to be used. And your wife, I think, is with you somewhere. She had to leave to go to the airport. God's going to use you in a big way when you are 24 years old. I mean to preach. You're going to actually preach. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to fill your life with God's Word. Start eating the Bible. I mean like consume it in the Spirit. You'll do that? And when you begin to do this, call on the Lord continually to use you. And I'm here to prophesy, you will be a pastor. I want you to give the Lord the biggest shout of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
I want that couple. This man and this lady. All right. Bring him, bring him, bring him up here. I want this man and are you guys together? You come up by, by yourself then. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I'm just following the Lord here. I've got to obey him, all right? Are you, are, are you together? You're, you're not together. Where are you from? Maryland. There's a great deep anointing on him. Pick him up. God's going to use you in a wonderful way, young man. It's almost like hand picking. And you too. Oh, that's glory on you. That's glory. Now, Lord, use your people. Use them for your name's sake. Come here, kid. No, please, please, please. Just the child here. In Jesus' name, Lord. Jesus. I'm fine. Gentlemen, I'm fine. Leave me alone. Thank you, Lord, for this child. Touch it for your glory. Amen. Amen. It's all right, darling. It's all right. Lord, use them for your, your name's sake and power. Be upon them. Visit their life, their home. Let their tomorrow be filled with your glory and majesty. Young man, come here. Come up here. Get him up. Get that plant out of the way and get him up. See, there are these sacred times take place in services like this. Like that dear father and his son from Brazil who, who came and now they have miracles happening in their ministry in Brazil. Stand up, have him stand up. Where are you from? Where are you from? California. You're a, you're a, are, you, are, you, are you a preacher? You're an evangelist? You're just a young man? You want God to use you, huh? Do not forget him. Do not forget him, Lord, for your name's sake. Do not forget him, for your glory. See, moments like this, God ordains. Jesus ordains moments like this. We do not. Now lift your hands and thank him. Help these dear people up. And my friend Marvin, God bless him. I just met him last night. I love his spirit. Now, I hope you let me know one day that you're a pastor. In fact, Kurt, make sure to give him your number or something so he can let us know. God bless you. And the Lord bless you and keep you make his face shine on your life give you peace be gracious to you go in his name preach his gospel declare his gospel be blessed be strong in the Lord and the power of his might be clothed with his power in his name amen I want you to give the Lord a mighty shout of praise come on Ensemble, come out here, ensemble. Hallelujah, Jesus is alive. Death has lost the victory. Bye-bye. Drive safe. Good night.